in the scouring of the Shire, there's a scenario that needs an old storehouse, so I thought we'd have a go at making one. Hello, welcome to another Building Middle Earth video. In this, we're going to have a go at making something like this, which is an old storehouse um, for the use in Scourishire. Or, if you've looked at the Arnor houses that I made uh, last year, it could be used as a shack barn complement to those. It's in the same sort of scale, same sort of style with these brown shingles. So yeah, let's uh, crack on. Get making. We are going to make the substructure out of a uh, foam core. This is black foam core. And you're going to need two M bits. And these are two and a quarter high, three inches wide. And I forget how long it is at its highest point. Hold on, if I can do this without crashing my entire workstation, that'd be great. Three and a quarter, three and three quarters high at its highest peak. Uh, this is about four inches wide and two and a half inches and you're just going to glue them together so the end bits go behind like so and what you're also going to need to do is cut out exactly the same sort of um size in uh balsa wood this is just some thin sheets of balsa wood probably about two three mil thick so you're going to need just to cut that out as well so it will clad. Uh, the important thing to remember is the grain of the wood should be going up and down. Now the width of my balsa wood I had wasn't actually 4 inches, it was about this wide. What you see here, but it doesn't matter, as long as it's going up and down you can just cut two pieces together like so and we'll be gluing them in anyway. The only thing you've got to remember about the uh, size and length of this bit is it's not only got a cover the end of the end piece of foam core, like so, but it's also got to cover the bit of balsa wood here as well. So, so you do that, and then once you cut them out, get a pen, and we're going to draw some planks in. Now, normally at this stage, I'd be like, uh, get a rule out and get nice straight lines, but I want this to be a bit. Shh, well, it's going to be a shack, isn't it? It's going to be hastily put together. I kind of want, still want relatively straight lines unlike that one <laughs> but just roughly do it with a ballpoint pen to get that haphazardly made plank look I'm going to do that and also what you can do is at the end here cut out two windows at the top uh, on one of them there's going to be a door possibly this piece here but it's not going to be a door as such it's going to be a porch so for this and find the pieces on my desk. You're going to need three more bits of foam core. Uh, you're going to need a bit that is an inch and a quarter wide and two inches high. These are going to be uh, half inch thick here and they're the same height as this. But at the back they're half inch high so it's two and a half inches and they will sit either side like so. And again, this would need to be clad in um, balsa wood. And then this will, the plan is to stick this at the front here. We're going to glue it now. And just to give you an idea of the actual overall size of it, that's a ruffian who'll probably be guarding it. So there you go. But to glue it, the nice thing is we can pin it as well because it's going to be clad. So we can get quite get glue in and it will be strong and you can work on it without waiting for the glue to dry. So uh, I'm going to use the uh, mat here to make sure it's at a quite a nice right angle. You put some glue in like so, make sure it's all flush and then get some pins. Uh, you've probably seen me do this before on the channel when I'm making phone course substructures. Just poke it through the end 
and poke it through do one at the top one at the bottom careful not to come out and stab yourself and what that does that means you got even though it's PVA you can leave it dry you can it holds it in place and you won't see the pins here because we're clad in it like so so I'm gonna carry on constructing this glued pinned glue pins that's a little portrait bit now end up being on here as soon later now on the uh, planks here what you can also do is just come up with a pen and in places just sort of try and do little nicks and we want to make these look like really rough hewn woods I'm just gonna in places in between the grooves just with my pen just pull them apart a bit and here give a little here and also if you've got nails which I don't but even so it's balsa wood just come in and rough that wood up I want that wood to look quite just scratch into it I want it to have a really rough pattern I don't think if you can see that here I really want to get some detail in it that way and all we're gonna do yeah, it's just gonna glue it into place here. Hopefully you can see that. It just looks like really rough, rough and sketchy wood. And this is the uh it all sort of put together and clad in the uh balsa wood. What I'm gonna do now is add some bits of detail on. I wanna add a few bits of wood like this, gonna add just rough planks where it's just been really want to get across that this has been hastily put together so it's like this all over it kind of thing so I'm gonna I'll go around and do that Okay, so uh, added all detail bits around. Hopefully, you can see it in this light. Dimmed it a bit so you can see what I've done. And what I'm going to do now is let all the glue dry so I don't keep knocking these bits and then work on the roof. So, for the roofs, uh, just going to be made out of foam core again. It's going to be. Um, Uh, enough to go over the edge and give a bit of overhang so in my case it's two and a half inches and enough to fit the length of it and it's just under five inches so you need two of those and they'll be glued on here like so and then same sort of principle for this bit here so uh, I didn't measure this but I just sort of uh, put it up and eyeballed it and so now I'm going to glue these into place and then I'll leave it overnight to dry and then we'll get on with the dreaded tiling which we're going to do some rough shingles on the tiling. To make the uh, shingles you're going to get some cereal box card or something similar. Uh, cut them into 5 inch strips just so it has a bit of overhang on the roof and then cut them into uh, half inch wide and I'm going to mark little lines in these will be the shingles and for the next row the lines will be offset slightly like so and then it's going to come in with some scissors and it's going to roughly cut out little shingles like so uh, I've done this before on is in the Arnold village house video I want these to be even more rustic than those, so then I'm gonna 
chopping at weird angles like that. So I'm going to go off and do these. And I'll show you, then you just glue them on. So gluing them is just a simple case of getting some PVA, run it along the back. Sticking it on so you have a little bit of overhang. Not much. Like so. I was going to let, wait till tomorrow to do, let do this bit, but I thought I'd get it done now. Roof's not dry. Uh, give it that gunk. Uh, and the next row, kind of do the same. Put a bit of glue on the top. And then it just rests a little bit up. Push down. Like so. Uh, I'm going to now cut out and do loads and probably wait till this roof dries. <laughs> Okie dokie. This uh, it's a bit all been tiled now. Looks okay. Only one thing to do is put the uh, ridge tile on. This is made in much the same way, except it's a strip card. It's an inch uh, wide, and then either side just make some tiles like you've done before, and then just pop this on with some glue. Like so. Easy. Uh, one other thing I have done is I've got my uh, retractable pencil with the nib out and I've just scored some sort of wood texture lines in. It'll be easier once this is dry, but I thought I'd show you now. If you've got a wire brush, of course, this, you could use one of those. I've done that all over and hopefully you can see adds a bit of uh, texture to the uh, wood tiles. That's pretty much it done. I'm going to add out of card. I'm going to add a little uh, bit of card here for a uh, keyhole, and I'll probably use the pencil again just to push it all hole in. I won't show you that because that's pretty much what it is. And I'm sure let the ridge tile dry, dry, and then we get on to painting. And construction's now all done. Hopefully, you can see a little keyhole there that I added in. And what I'm going to do is paint it. I'm going to paint it all in one colour pretty much and then dry brush over it in various different colours but it's all going to be painted in this which is a uh, sort of burnt umber acrylic paint but I'm going to do two different techniques it's going to be a really watered down uh, wash almost on the wood and then quite just almost as is on the roof part so that's what I'm going to do Get some water. Some, uh, so what I want is I want the paint mainly to soak into the wood grain of the balsa wood. So, perhaps even more. Yeah, like that. Even that's a bit too, maybe a bit too much, but I can live with that. really want it like that. done well it's soaked in some of the woods come in it looks kind of weathered already but I'm gonna let that dry next up the roof for this more of the same but less water I want this going on for quite thick still slightly watered down just in the nature of it like so and what I want to do paint the front court underneath as well. There you go, that's all the roof painted. Uh, 
you may want to water it down just to get into the gaps of the shingles but and you can actually see the texture we put into it so there you go uh, so I'm just going to let this dry now and uh, before we sort of dry brush it with other browns and stuff okay next up I want to give it a very heavy dry brush of uh, steel legion drab I want it to be this is going to be part of the weathering process so so I come along and I'm going to go just left to right Hopefully this will just uh, make the wood green pop a bit. And the base brown, the uh, burnt oak is a very sort of red brown, which I don't want. I want it to be quite, just very heavy come down. Just all over the beams and everything. down on the beams left and right on the uh, it's a wood really does bring out the uh, top bits yeah so it's just bringing out that sort of weathering getting it a bit weathered I'm already done here I'm done here so I want you to see which dry and just got to do the front now. Next up, I want to get that roof pop in a bit. So I've got some uh, Morphang Brown. Uh, I don't have a lot of this left actually. I feel I've got enough of this. Shouldn't take too much. Uh, load up my brush and just come in and just drag it bottom to top. Up here things. Hopefully you see that just really making those tolls pop top to bottom a bit more in there top to bottom yeah and that's one I've done earlier that's dried Gives it a nice, makes it makes those tiles just stand out as wooden shingles. Yep, I'm happy with that. A bit of weathering, uh, sort of dry brushing, and we are done. I uh, might just, might just uh, get a bit more fang on. Gables here as well. Those edges pop a bit. It's just a phone call. Okay, so two things. My cat is laying well on a film, so we're going to be using him as a sort of base to present the uh, house. And the other thing is, I had recorded the next stage of the painting, but the video got corrupt, so. Uh, Effectively, all it is is doing a bit of weathering, so you get something like a Carrick Stone type shade of paint, and I just dry brushed the uh, beams here, the raised beams here horizontally, and the vertical beams vertically, and sort of did that all over. Painted the lock black, like so. And on the roof, I just did a very light dry brushing, just going, starting from the bottom and just going up, just to slightly pick out the edges of it here. What do you think, Kat? You like it? Yeah, he likes it. Yeah. And that is pretty much it. That's 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 the end result here. Um, quite quick to make, really. You can build this in an afternoon. Uh, as I said, you can use it for scouring the Shire or just anything where you need a shack type of building. Some sort of medieval building. I'm happy with it, but yeah, and that is it. So um, that's it for this week's uh, Building Middle Earth video. Um, I think there might be a break for a week before we start October's videos. I don't know. I think there is a break. But if you can do me a massive favor and like and leave some comments. I love reading comments anyway. I love replying to comments. So, you know, gives me something to do, keeps me off the streets. And maybe share this video. It will really help the channel out. So um, be Give you big loves if you can do that but thanks for watching thanks for taking the time to watch and until next time guys take care